In this presentation, we'll go over the core document routing technology built into SciGen SciCapture and show you how to scan, capture, and route documents to Microsoft SharePoint. So if you go into any organization out there in the workplace today, uh, everybody has the same challenge. They've got desktop scanners, scanning copiers, scanning fax machines, production scanners, maybe even applications that dump images to a directory. So the real question becomes, how do we, through a standardized method, process these scanned documents and post them into Microsoft SharePoint document libraries? The answer is SciGen SciCapture. So what is Route SP? Route SP is a core routing technology that provides the ability to read barcodes and marks off cover sheets. It provides a simple scanning and capture from just about any scanning device and allows distributed scanning to SharePoint through the use of these cover sheets. And you can customize these with different barcodes or boxes depending on the type of documents that you're scanning. So why use RADSP? RADSP gives you the ability to dynamically create document libraries and column structures. It also will automatically create folder structures and standardize file naming schemes within SharePoint. If you have pre-existing document libraries, we can take the information and dynamically route to libraries and folder structures. We also give you the ability to perform uh, dynamic database lookups to SharePoint if you've got pre-existing data, including libraries, lists, and column choice lists. The benefits of Route SP, in summary, are efficiency, standardization, and flexibility. Efficiency through reducing the time required to scan and index documents. Standardization through the use of a standardized process for scanning, capturing, indexing, naming, and processing documents. And finally, flexibility through the ability to provide uh, metadata and images to a number of repositories, not just SharePoint. To date, SciCapture supports uh, over 35 different back-end systems, including SharePoint, and generic output as well. So you can harvest data from documents and output to database, ASCII text, XML, and even network folders. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Route SP in action. So let's put this demo into context. I'm at an engineering firm and I've just created a, a new site for my engineering teams and each project will have its own document library so you can scan documents into the engineering repository. You can see that I've got no document libraries uh, with the exception of the uh, the default shared doc library in here and uh, what I'm going to do now is give my users the capability um, I'm going to go ahead and create these cover sheets and give them the capability to pre-print these and you can see in the barcode I've got a project and a subproject, and then I give the end users the ability to designate what type of document they're scanning with a sharpie marker. So they can have these pre-printed on their desk, grab it, color in the type of document it is, take multiple documents, okay, and fill out the cover sheets, and uh, place them all in a single stack. Walk up to a copier, a digital sender, a scanning fax machine, and scan the documents. Now I'm going to go ahead and simulate this. Let's go ahead and open up a drop folder. And uh, in this particular example, um, I went up to my copier, I scanned the documents, and they plopped into a watch folder. SciCapture uh, monitors the watch folder for any documents that drop in, and it's going to pick up that document, automatically process it, and then post it into SharePoint. Now what we're going to do uh, when that happens, we're actually going to dynamically create project document libraries, subfolders for the subproject and document type. We're going to custom name the file and make it searchable. All of that in one fell swoop. All the end user has to do is throw the cover sheet on top and hit the green button on the copier. Now it's going to take a minute to go through the site capture capture server, get processed, uh, converted, all the information read but the end result will be here in just a minute. So what I want to point out real quick is if I look at these, I've got three separate documents, one for the Apex project, one for the Butte 
project. And then uh, the last one, I believe, is for a salmon project. Okay. Now, as these actually come into the system, okay, um, if I wanted to, I could come into site capture and I could check the status, and it looks like the the batch is actually complete. So if I refresh my SharePoint, you can see now that I've got these pre-created document libraries, which were each of the projects within the barcodes. And if I click into the doc library, I've got a sub-project folder, which was also part of the barcode, a document type folder, which was actually the checkbox that was colored in with a Sharpie marker. And then in that document, I've got a searchable PDF that's been named project dash subproject dash document type all automatically done with no intervention from the end user other than coloring in a box with a sharpie marker now whereas we provide the uh, the on-ramp to SharePoint which gives you that standardized method to get documents in one of our partners the Telesoft actually provides the ability to work with the documents after the fact so using Visit SP, I can come in and actually preview the document. Once I preview it, if I want to open the full-blown viewer, I can do that. And we can open over 200 different uh, file types with, uh, with Visit SP. And we'll give it a minute to, uh, to open here. But if we look at the Visit interface, it gives us a, a nice, seamless interface that lets us do viewing controls so I can actually scroll around okay I can zoom in I can zoom out I can fit the document in the window if I like I can have multiple documents open within tabs in the viewer okay I can email I can save it to my desktop I can print it I have editing capability for certain doc types where I can rotate, despeckle, deskew, and if I come to my annotations I also have the ability to annotate the documents. So if I wanted to come in and uh, bring somebody's focus to let's say this part of the engineering drawing, I can go ahead and, uh, and draw a shape. I have the ability to edit it, move it back, forward, fill. I can adjust uh, all the different features of the document. And I even have the ability to stamp, put sticky notes. I can come in and put text on the document if I like. and I can come in and edit this and okay so I've got all different options here uh, I even have the ability to move these around on the document and as a final option so by default these are just a layer that's associated with the document but I also have my little uh, nuke symbol here which will give me the ability to burn the uh, annotations into the image okay so lots of different options. So let's go ahead and close visit here. Oh, uh, one more thing. The last thing I can do within visit, I can come in and actually search. So if I wanted to come in and, and uh, <clears throat> let's say search for everything in the uh, salmon project, I can do column based searching, bring up my document, and once again I've got preview capability. Um, I've even got side-by-side -side viewing capability, so a lot of functionality here in Visit once I get my documents into the system. The last thing I'll show you is obviously there's a, a lot of hype about 2010. Um, our product also has already been tested with 2010. You can see that uh, in this engineering site within the 2010 interface, I've also built out my document structure and I've got my PDF with my columns populated. Okay, So this is just a, a quick overview of the Route SP technology. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send them to sales at scigen.com or contact your local reseller. Thanks.